Hi everybody, it's Martin the Flickin' Fellas again tonight and I'm tying Ryan O'Keefe's missing link. It's another flats fly. Reasonable kind of wee each way bet. Um, kind of sh shrimpy, but a wee, wee bit crabby, kind of generic food item. Uh, use it for bone fish, I'm sure reds would eat it, anything that's on the flat. Various emperors, I've had, I've caught various emperor species on this as well. Bream, whatever you like, really. Give it a try. As always, there will be a materials list in the description, along with a link to social media and the Patreon page. Um, and if you are keen on being entered into a prize draw, a random draw in future for a box of flies, I suggest you head over to the Patreon page to find out about that. So, hook I'm using is a Gamakatsu S1138, this is my sort of preferred standard shank bonefish hook, but um, I believe the original was tied in a mustad. Um, this is a size 4, but you can tie them from 2 to 6, 2 4s and 6s. Let's start with some tan danvils. I'm going to attach Wait, wait, this with some medium bead chain eyes. we we'll tie them about a quarter of the way back. Get them figured, figure it in place nice and tight. Just get the position as you like them. Make sure everything's nice and square. They're under a bit of tension. <clears throat> Just readjust that out there. <clears throat> and don't be shy with your thread wraps. Get them. Get this hook well. Or get these eyes well tied on. Over and under as well. And around the base. And then take your thread. All the way at the back, uh, and I'm going to tie in some flash. Got here some gold, or old gold crystal flash, but ten strands. That's quite f reasonably flashy. This Just catch that in and tie the other up. Length on this, well, I want an overall fly to be just over a couple of inches, so can I cut these slightly uneven about there? Right, and that gives me a reasonable length. Next is some craft fur. Just take a reasonable bunch of this. I mean, it's up to you how heavy or sparse you like it, but you've got to try to maintain a bit of balance in the fly. Um, if you go too sparse on this fly, it sort of doesn't look right. Same again, I've just got to take away any super long fibres, just to adjust the taper slightly. Get me the sort of shape that I want. Tie that in just about the same length as the crystal flash. Three wraps is plenty to hold it, and then I'll just come in and trim away the waste pieces. Try not to miss them. The length of the body here. And again, I'm just going to tidy up. Touching wraps. So, to finish the tail, I'm going to take a couple of Cree 
hackle feathers. Just cheap. These are just cheap Indian cock fit cock hackles. Just got to flank the tail with them, curving outwards. Line them up. Make sure the make sure they're the same. Tidy up. Trim away the waste. So you've got something like that. You've got the, the tooth. Two hackle tips curving out, so they'll kick a wee bit when you strip the fly. The body hackle is just for the same cape, slightly bigger feather. I mean, these are the great feathers, but it's fine, they're nice and mobile in the water. You can see there, it's a bit crappy at the, at, towards the base, but that's... That's okay. A couple of wraps just to hold that in. Then I'll take some ultra chenille and tan and tie that down. Part my thread just behind the bead chain eyes and then I'll wind this chenille forward. Just create a nice level body. I'll stop my thread just behind the wood chain, tie that down, just leave that there at the moment. And I'll come and I'll take this hackle and wind it forward and open turns. I'll be a bit tangled up in my chenille there. Just wind this forward and open turns until you reach this tie in point here. Come across your thread. And at this stage, I just fold everything back, chenille as well, and take a few wraps back just to tidy everything up. I'll take my thread to the front. If you can break that hackle stem away, if not, you'll just need to cut it. And then I'll figure out the chenille through these eyes. Careful not to catch any hackle. Not that it will really matter, but. Just give that a check, make sure you've got coverage all the way around. And then take your thread to the front. I'll take this new to the front, sorry, tie it in, fold it back. And then just come in. Quick finish. Twice. thread, trim away the waist you knew, and then come in and trim the hackle feathers, the hackle fibres away on the underside of the fly, so that you just get the legs sticking up there. finish off with some head cement and that's you that's the missing link fairly simple little well it's quite a big bone fish fly actually but um, what's on the flats for a range of species obviously you can adjust the colors you can uh, appeal pink hackles very nice a wee bit of orange or something but there you go hope that was useful hope you enjoyed it if you did don't forget to Subscribe to my channel and give me a thumbs up below. Tight lines guys. Bye.